cross stitch number two. This is a little bit more sophisticated. So I'm going to thread my needle. And I bought a third of the thread through. This will use up a lot of thread. Now I'm going to take my piece of uh, embroidery cloth, turn it over to the back and turn it vertically. I'm going to post my thread through that and then take my needle to the front. I'm going to go across only one binker hole to the right and go to the left. I've made one diagonal. Now I'm going to cross back to the lower right and come up in the upper left. Can you see that? Now I'm going to go across the right and left again. Pull the stitches up, go down to the lower right and come up in the upper left. I'll do four more stitches just so we get familiar with the movement. Can you see I never pass my uh, needle to the back because if I do I get lost, I don't know where I'm coming up again. So I keep my needle at the front and I use my helping hand to get everything in position. Whoops, a bit of thread's got stuck. I'll trim that in a bit. There. There. This is going to be my last one. So I'm going on the diagonal, right to left, and then back down again. So watch. There. Now the good thing about this is that all the crosses are going in the same direction, which is what you want in a nice cross stitch. Look how neat it is at the back, except that bit of end that got stuck so I'll trim that off and then post my yarn down through the inside to neaten it off and trim. Cross stitch number two.